This question is a slightly fiddly question involving an arithmetic progression. And we're told that the sum of the first two terms is 25, and the sum of the first four terms is 250. And in part one we're asked to find what A, i.e. the first term, and D of the common difference is. Now we know that the general formula for the sum of n terms in an arithmetic progression is a half n 2a plus n minus 1 times d. We have used the lowercase letters here for a is the first term and d is the difference. So if we're told the sum of the first two terms is 25, then this means that 25 is a half. We've got two terms, so a half times 2, two lots of a plus n is still 2, so 2 take 1 is 1, plus 1 lot of d. And if I look at the second statement of the sum of the first four terms is 250, then 250 equals a half, n is now 4, still 2a, n is 4, so 4 take 1 is 3, plus 3 times d. So this gives me two equations which I can try to solve simultaneously for a and for d. Now, if I look at the first one, a half times 2 is 1, so 25 just equals 2a plus d. If I look at the bottom statement, a half of 4 is 2, so I can do two lots of the bracket to get 4a plus 6d. If I then times the top equation by 2, I get 50 equals 4a plus 2d. If I leave the bottom one the same, 250 is 4a plus 6d. So equation 2 and equation 1, with 4a and 4a in both of the equations. So if I now do equation 2, take away equation 1, then the 4a's cancel out. So 250 take 50 is 200, the 4a's cancel out, 6d take away 2d is 4d. So this tells me that 4d is 200, so d equals 50. So I found the difference to be 50. However, I also want to find the first term. So if I resort to the first equation here, then 25 equals 2a plus 50. I've subbed the 50 into the equation. So 2a is 25, take 50, which is minus 25. So a is a half of minus 25, which is minus 12.5. So I found the first term to be minus 12.5 and the common difference to be 50. Having found that, the question then asks to find the sum of the 21st to the 50th term inclusive. Now to do this, I begin by finding the sum of the first term up to the 50th term, using the general formula. So now n is 50. So a half, 50. I now know a and d. So it's two lots of minus 12.5 n is 50, so 50 take 1 is 49, lots of d, which is also 50. So I get my calculator, a half of n times 2 times minus 12.5 plus 49 times 50, press enter, and I get 60625. Now that's the sum of the first 50 terms. But I want the sum of the 21st to the 50th. So I don't want to include the first 20 terms. So I'm going to find the sum of the 1st to the 20th. So n is now 20. So a half of n times 2 times a. n is 20, so 19 times d is 50. I will now work out what this is. So a half of 20 times 2 lots of minus 12.5 plus 19 times 50. That works out at 9250. So that's the sum of the first 50 terms. 
that's the sum of the first to the twentieth. If I do 60625 and take away 9250, that will leave me with the 21st to the 50th. So 60625 take 9250 is 51375. So 51375 is a sum of the 21st to the 50th term inclusive.